Hi, and welcome back to our video series on Word 2010. In this video, we're going to go ahead and see how to customize our ribbon. Now, in the last video, we saw how to customize existing tabs within the ribbon. In this video, we want to see how to create our own tab and then add commands to it. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click right up here at the top, and I'm going to go ahead and select Customize the Ribbon. And you're going to see again, here's all of my tabs and the groups within my tabs. Now, before, I selected an existing tab and selected New Group. But this time, I'm going to click New Tab. And you're going to see a new tab was inserted directly below whatever I had selected. I'll go ahead and remove that. Again, I'm going to click on Insert and then New Tab. You'll see that new tab was inserted there. And a new tab automatically has a new group created inside of it. If I click where it says New Tab, I can then hit Rename, and I can go ahead and type Timothy's Commands. And that's what the name of my tab is going to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and create some groups, and then I'm going to add some items to them. I'm going to go ahead and rename this group File Commands. And then I'm going to go ahead and Again, I selected the tab, and then I click on New Group, and I'm going to go ahead and name, rename this new group Formatting Options. And finally, I'll create a third group, and I'm going to call this Useful Items. So now I have three different groups to add commands to. If I click OK here, you're going to go ahead and see I've got the set Timothy's commands, but I don't have any buttons. So I'm again going to right click and select Customize the Ribbon and come back here. And let's go ahead and add some options. I'm going to come here to the File tab, and I'm going to go ahead and move the New command over. I also want to do the Open command. And I want to do Save and Save As. So I want to do Save and then Save As. And I may also want to do Save as Other Format. So now I've got five options in there. Now I'll come over and click on the Formatting Options. And I'm actually going to go ahead and for this one, I'm going to go ahead and select, um, what should I select? I'll select Main Tabs here and come to Home and font, and you'll see there are all those existing options there. Now, if I wanted to get to commands that aren't on any tabs at all, you can also select commands not in ribbon there, and you can get access to different items. For example, the all caps option isn't available anywhere from the ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my formatting options, because I might need that. And you can just go ahead and look through here, and you can see, okay, what might be a good command to bring out that I might want. I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple other items in here. Um, I'm going to add change case, and I'm going to add change text case. And under useful items, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, well, there's a close all command. Some people like the close all option, but that really belongs more up here under file command. So I'm actually going to move that up using my options here. And then come back here and choose some other commands from in, um, in this option. And I'm just going to go ahead and select just a couple of random items in here. And now when I click OK, you'll see there's Timothy's commands. And there are all the different options that I added to um, that ribbon. Now, I can also change the location of um, this particular tab. Right now, it's in between Insert and Page Layout. But I can right-click and select Customize the Ribbon. And just like I can move groups and commands, I can also move tabs. So I selected my tab, and I'm just going to bump this over a couple t items. So you're going to see it's the first item in this list. When I click OK, you're going to see it ends up being the first tab after the file tab. The file tab is kind of special. So now I can get to that really easily. So you've got your own custom tab with your own custom groups and the commands that you use most frequently inside of Microsoft Word. 
And again, if I want to go ahead and delete that item, I can come back into Customize Ribbon and I could simply select it and click Remove. Or I could remove groups or individual commands. You also have a reset option right here. And if you click on that, you can say reset all customizations and that will get rid of anything special that you've done. So I'm going to go ahead and click on reset and I'll select reset all customizations. It's going to bring up a warning. It's going to say delete all ribbon and quick access toolbar. So it includes the changes we've made up here as well for this program. I'm going to say yes and everything goes back to the default as it was installed. So one of the things you can do with that is you don't have to worry about tearing these toolbars apart or making mistakes. You can go in and practice and play with this to your heart's content and then when you're ready to actually start doing something for real, making your own tab or modifying your menu, you can reset so you have a clean um, start um, from there. And if I go ahead and close this out, there's another command up here when we right click that we haven't looked at, and that's minimize ribbon. And if I click on that, you're going to see I can no longer see the buttons, but I can see the tabs. If I click on one of the tabs, the buttons act as a drop down. If I click the button again, they disappear. So you can toggle your items off and on just by doing that. If I double click on a button, that goes ahead and unminimizes the ribbon, or you could right click and undo the option from there as well.